Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these beautiful kiwi earrings. Down there in description I also have tutorials for beaded oranges, for beaded watermelon, so you could check them out as well. And stay with me because later in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you a simple formula and with this formula you will be able to make this circular stitch and you could do with this colorful earrings and other different designs. I have also a snowman design and a pumpkin design with this stitch. So it's a good idea to check it out. I'll also link the tutorials in description that I mentioned. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more tutorials that are coming next. Check description for useful resources and see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay now without further ado let's continue with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of Tenno seed beads. I'm using white, light green, green and brown. Here I'm using earring findings in this copper color and here I also use only two seed beads in HO size for the center of my work. Here I'm using monofilament that is 0.006 inches, 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, link for PayPal donations, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. And also down there you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel which now is a course of five peyote stitch videos besides the other perks like badges to stand out in the comments and others that you could see if you click the link. Okay and let's continue. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 but it will be easier if you use size 11 or 12 even. And here I'm using scissors and I'm using also flat nose pliers. By the way, you could use 11 or seed beads as well, but then be sure to use smaller size of needle. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and let's get started. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 8 of these beautiful white beads. Okay, and I have my eight here and what I'm going to do is slide those down almost until the end of my thread. Okay, this is what I have now and what I do is that I make here a loop and go twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I'm going to make one more knot and pull again. Okay, now I have my 8 beads in a circle. And what I'm going to do next is go in this direction through some beads. Then I'm going to take this HO bead for the center and if you don't have this HO size, don't worry, just leave the center like this. It won't be a problem, I think. Okay, so I'm taking this HO size. And I'm going in the opposite bead here and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to, okay, in this direction. And how I find the opposite, I count one, two, three and go through the fourth one. And I pull. Okay, and now I have the center of my work ready. Okay, and what I'm going to do in my next step is add light green beads around these white beads. I will turn my work in this direction because it will be easier for me to work like this because I'm right-handed. You could work in the other direction, it's up to you. And as I'm exiting here through this white bead, uh, what I'm going to do is go back in circle through the same white and add one green bead, light green bead. 
okay and I pull so I'm going back in circle through the same beat making something like a loop here between the beads between the white one and the green one then I go in the next white I take just one green bead and I go backwards in the same manner through the next white okay then I go through the following white again take just one green and I go back in circle through this white and also through the following white in this way I save time I'm doing one movement less because I'm situated here at the next white bead and this is where I'm adding my green one okay here it is and I go back through this and through the following white so now repeat this four more times guys until the end it's absolutely the same thing if you are a beginner uh, and you find it difficult just rewind the video and repeat these four steps from here okay and i'll be back okay and here i am guys where i'm adding my last green bead from this row and everything is absolutely the same now what i want to do is go back as i'm exiting through this white bead i just added the green i want to go back through the green one and i'll show you in a minute why okay i will turn this in this direction because you know it's easier for me to go like this then i take one green bead and as I'm exiting from this green here, you see my thread is exiting out of here. I'm going in the next green and I add one green in the process. Then another green and I will just be filling the gaps here guys in this row. okay finish this and meet me here okay and here i am guys where i'm just adding my last bit from this row and now what i want to do is reinforce this row here <laughs> okay and what we have now are eight beads in the center and 16 beads around them so they are double these eight beads or with eight beads more than these in the center in my next step guys what i'm going to do is that as i'm exiting through one of the green beads I will take two dark green beads and go back in circle through just one. In this way here I'm adding two beads to this bead here. Then in my next step I'm going to add just one brown bead. And I will go back through this bead and also through the following. To save one movement if you remember okay now I have this then I will repeat this absolutely the same thing until the end of this row take two dark green beads go back through this one and through the following then take just one brown bead go back through this one and through the following 
then again two dark green beads and go back through one of the light green beads just like this and then take just one brown bead and go back through this light green bead okay and repeat these guys until the end and meet me here so if you work correctly guys here you will finish with a brown bead next to these two green beads and in this row guys i have 24 beads i doubled every second bead of my previous row and now what i want to do is go around through all of the beads and reinforce it so i started with eight beads in the next row i doubled them i made them 16 and then in the next row i made them 24 and i doubled every second bead and in this way i have with eight beads more in each row this is the simple formula in the next row guys guess what i will double every third bead and i will have again eight beads more in the next row okay and my next row will consist only of dark green beads and i will double every third seed bead okay it means that i take one go around here through this one take one more go around here through this one and now i need to double the third bead so i added two single beads and one double comes next okay i'll show you one more time what i'm doing i take one green bead go back in circle through this one go in the next then again one and at the third step i add two okay two beads and i will continue doing this until the end of this row one one two one one two and i'll meet you here at the end okay guys and i continued absolutely the same thing i was adding one one two and here i'm finishing with two because here i started the row with one one two and here i meet these two with these two which are one and one so i know i work correctly and in this row guys i have 32 beads or with eight more compared to the previous row which was 24 beads okay it's simple mathematics if you don't want to know it just follow the steps that i'm showing and everything will work even without this mathematics i think it helps a little bit okay now i will go around through all of those beads and meet you here okay guys and as i went around one more time see how my beads straighten up and now i'm here in one line with this brown bead and now I'm going to be doubling every fourth of my beads, okay? So I'm going to add a single brown. Then two single greens one by one.
and then what I want to do is to add two beads at the fourth step. Now I'm doubling every fourth bead here, okay? And I, I add two greens. I maybe reinforce this row too much, that is why I'm using my pliers, okay? So uh, here is what I have. Three single beads, brown and two greens, and one double green bead, okay? Then I go in the next green. And I will repeat absolutely the same thing. I'm taking one brown bead and I go here like this backwards. Okay, then I go in the next green. Then I'm going to add two more greens that are single. Okay, I take one, go back like this. Take one. Go back like this. And here I am where I need to add two green beads. So I'm doubling the fourth bead. And I'm going to start this one over. Okay, I need one brown. Then one by one I add a green and a green and then two greens. Then again brown, one green, one green, two greens. Brown, one green, one green, two greens. And I will continue with this scheme until the end of this row and in this row I will have 40 beads. If you remember in the previous row I had 32 beads and now I'm doubling every fourth beads of this 32 and I have with 8 beads more compared to the previous row. 32, 40. Okay, I'll finish it and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And yes, you know you work correctly if you need to add two here next to this brown. And now the familiar step of reinforcing, but reinforce it just one because in the previous row I think I reinforced it twice and I needed to use my pliers after that. Okay, I'll go reinforcing it and meet you here. Okay guys, and after this row, which consists of 40 beads, I need to make a row with 48 beads. Here, in this row, I was doubling every fourth beat and now I will double every fifth beat. Okay, I will show you. I'm taking one light green bead and this row will consist only of light green beads. Okay, and I go like this. Then another light green. And I go like this. And another light green. And I go like this. Then again. Okay, I have four single beads and I need to double the fifth one. Okay, so I take two here and I go back like this. You see here I didn't go twice reinforcing the row, that's why I didn't use my pliers so much. Maybe it's a good idea to do this with one reinforcement. Okay, and again I will show you faster and let you do this until the end of this row. Okay. 
okay and it's all the same you add four single and one double bead and continue this and meet me here okay guys and here I am at my last step where I need to add two beads and you know you work correctly if here at the last step you need to add two beads because you started with four singles and one double and then continued so at the last steps you need to have two if uh, something's not right just go back and make it one more time okay so now I'm going to reinforce this row in the familiar way that I showed you in my previous steps I will reinforce it once and when I go and reinforce it I'll meet you here and we'll continue with the last row okay guys and now I'm here up to the last row and let's resume what we have up to here in the first row I had 8 beads in the second I had 16 beads so I doubled each bead that I had in my previous row then after that I have 24 beads which are with 8 more than the 16 here and I double every second bead here after that it comes the row with the 32 beads which is with 8 beads more then it comes the row with 40 beads which is with 8 beads more than the previous row and here I double every fourth beat and it comes the row with 48 beads where I double each fifth beat and it is with 8 beats more compared to the previous row which was with 40 beats okay so now you probably you guess what I will have in the next row I will double every sixth beat and I will have 48 plus 8 beats so I will have 56 beats in this row and this row will consist only of brown beads so I will show you the first steps of this row and then you will continue so here I'm adding one brown bead and because I want to double every sixth bead now here I will add five single brown beads okay one two Okay, and since I added five single beads, now it's time to add two beads at this seed bead here. Okay, and I'm adding it. And now I will continue the same thing. Five single beads, one double. Five single beads, one double. And I'll meet you at this side. Okay, guys, and here you know you work correctly. If at the last step you need to add two beads because you started with five single and then added one double so if you continue this pattern you should finish with double okay with five singles and one double okay and now I'm going to reinforce this row and I'll be back to attach my earring finding okay guys and I just reinforced my earring and here what I want to do next is take two seed beads my earring finding and two seed beads and I'm going to slide those down and in my next step I will go through these two brown beads back in circle then I will reinforce this and then I will make a knot and cut my thread okay and here I make a loop 
and I go twice through the loop I've made and then I pull and then I go through the next two beads and after that I cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my circular kiwi earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button if you still haven't. And you could also like, share and comment and in this way you help me so much and you make me do more and more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, check the membership option in description and bye bye from me.